Yo, yo, what up? I'm back. Uh, today I'm going to explain how to do the enemy control glitch using the mine. It's probably the easiest enemy control glitch to do in Fire Emblem 7. Uh, effectively, it allows you to take w your enemy's turn that they're currently on, and you can do whatever you want during that turn with their unit. So, uh, first let's see how it's done. <laughs> What I was doing there was checking uh, the Lance dude's range. I wanted him to, I wanted to make sure that when he targets my unit, he has no choice but to step on this spot where I'm putting the mine. That's critical. You want them to trigger the mine. <laughs> Another thing I want to mention while I have it on screen is over here, this uh, this flag or this little tree stump that you can knock over, uh, it, it also creates an action tile, which is the same thing that we're doing with the, uh, the mine, but I don't know for sure in Fire Emblem 7 if you can use these action tiles to take control of enemy turns or not. I know in Fire Emblem 8 you can, but I'm not sure if uh, it works as an action tile in Fire Emblem 7 the same way. But, like, I didn't attempt this in this playthrough, so I'll have to check that later and possibly do a video on the other enemy control glitches later. Currently, this is just for the mine. <laughs> Alright, what I did there is as soon as the enemy triggered the mine, uh, when he took damage, I soft resetted the game, and what this does is I will now, his turn will end because the, the mine, when you step on it, ends your turn automatically. In a typical enemy control glitch, you want to be at the end of that unit's turn when you take over, so he won't be able to move, but you'll have the other enemies that have not moved yet. As you can see, they are not doing anything, so now I'm, I can control what they do. As you can see, I'm in complete control of the enemy's turn. Just like uh, they, just like I'm moving my own turn, I'm moving their turn as well this time. You only get one turn to do this, so you have to be uh, smart about how you do it. I know I can recruit guy with Matthew, so I'm going to put him in range as well as get as many enemy items on him as possible to uh, save money in the future. Uh, I only use the mind glitch on this board simply for content, and this is the earliest board on chapter 13 that you can get a mind. So, like I said, you may be able to use the uh, slag up there, or whatever it's called, the, the log you can knock over as an action tile, but I'm not exactly sure about that one. 
Uh, there's many enemy control glitches. There's a torch control. There's the uh, the fire tile controls. Like there's many of them. Anything that's an action tile can effectively be used as an enemy control glitch. So uh, you just have to try it out and be creative and see exactly you know what you can do. You just take over one enemy turn and you go from there. Also, uh, the enemy can supply with Merlinia, so if you ever set it up to where he's in range, you can just dump items straight into him. And I think there's also another glitch that uses that to repair items. But, uh, pretty much I think that about covers it. The mind control is the easiest easy enemy control glitch to do. Uh, the only other recommendation I would have is when doing enemy control glitches, uh, make sure that you're animations are turned off so that they're the battle animations are turned off because it makes it just slightly easier to do all right i think that'll do it peace